everybody, Lefty here. I'm coming at you today with the game Eevee. Um, I don't remember much about it, so we're actually just going to jump on in and see what happens. So, there we go. Ah, uh, yes, the infamous bicycle accident of 2018. My wheel came right off. Can I pick this up? No? Alright. I heard a goat. I heard a goat. I don't see a goat. Hmm. Gotta go find a goat. Find a goat. Look for goat. I'm going through woods. Cause that. Oh wait, hold on. Is that a place? There's a place over here. Ah yes, excellent. The best kind of place behind fence. All right, a giant place behind a fence. Is there like an opening in this fence? Looks like there's a building over that way. Anything over there? Well, let's go this way. Can't really run, so doesn't make much of a difference. I move quick enough. I mean, I guess. All these trees. All right. Is that a is that a tree or is that a pole? All right, can I jump over the fence now? My legs are broken. No jump ability. The most annoying thing I find. All right, well, I can't get up that way. Can I go over these rocks? Nope. Again, still no jump. Legs be broken. All right, well, there's a big building over there. There's a building I could probably visit. Oh! Oh, there's some buildings I can visit now. I don't know where my bike is anymore. I've already lost the direction I came from, but at least I found some place to go. So that works. Ooh, that, uh, that movement is lovely. Whoa, what's that sound? Why does it sound like bees? Are there bees in this building? I don't like the sound of that. This looks like a generator. Can I turn it on? No? I don't want to go in here. It sounds like there's bees. I can't go in there anyway. Alright, well, whatever. Can't go in there anyway. Bathrooms? Can I can I look in them? Hmm. Oh, interact with this. Date January twelfth. Daily report. Henry left early due to a strong headache and vomiting. Working on the foundation. Need concrete for tomorrow. Henry Moss a headache and vomit. A whole bunch of other people that apparently were there. Oh, okay. Well, what does that have to do with anything? Mr. Moss claimed he had a headache, but we all know what was really going on. He wanted the day off so he could take a nap. A really nice nap. Whoa. I was just trying to walk forward, and my character was like, Nah, I'm going to walk to the left. To the left, to the left. All right, well, there's something over here, too. So let's look at this. Date March 3rd, Daily Report. Can't contact Michael Dean. Henry Moss and Michael Dean's absence is slowing down the process. A little bit behind schedule. So Michael Dean's gone missing, and Henry Moss is out because he's ill. <clears throat> so are we going to start talking about missing people? Is that what's going to happen to me? Am I going to go missing? Whoa. Is this a scary... I thought that was somebody. <laughs> that was a, that's the bush. That's the tree. I thought it was a person. This is supposed to be a scary game where something's going to come out and eat me. I probably should have uh, looked at the information. I purchased this game a while back to do this. And then, like, put it on the back burner. And then finally was like, oh, that's a good day. I'll do this one. And now here I am, trying not to pee myself. Okay. Um... There's this big building up here that I can't seem to get to. I think I'm, like, fenced in somewhere, so... I guess I just gotta go explore this fenced-in area that I'm in. It's 
kind of weird. How did I get inside the fenced in part? Like, how did I end up here? Oh, I love those shadows, uh, taking their time, glitching in and out and stuff. That's always fun. Where did my bike go? I thought this is the area I crashed into in the beginning. Maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, no, there it is. There's my bike right there. Okay. Well, it's the bike tire and like the other part of the bike. I'm surprised I can't just pick it up and like put it together, but I guess that is not an option. Alright, so I was biking from this direction, so... Wasn't it the hut I was just at? What about this building? Did I go to this red building? No, I couldn't go to that red building because it's fenced off, isn't it? Oh, there's a note over here, though. I didn't see this note. How did, well, because I didn't recognize it as a note before. October 10th, daily report. Today's work has been canceled due to lack of workers. So Henry's gone, Michael's gone, Richard's gone, and now Adam Greenwood's gone. Everybody's going! Everyone's going places and no one knows where. Well, I guess... Uh, whoa, thank you, screen. I enjoyed that. I guess we'll go this way. Oh. I can go to this building. And I can go over here. Well, I hope something doesn't eat my face, because I'm kind of worried right about now. Punk so rubber. Terrible. Uh, can I go in this place? This looks like the, the creepy place. Ah, oh, loading scene. Thank you, game, for letting me know that I opened the door. Had no idea that I did. Takes a takes a while to load that scene, though. I'll come back when the scene's loaded. No. Okay. Here we go. A hundred percent, but still loading the scene. Okay. Well, I can interact with. Oh, that sounded like a cat dying. Who thought that sounded like a door? That was a terrible design. Because that sounded like a cat dying. So I don't appreciate that none. Are you going to Are you gonna say that I finally loaded or what? Are you, are you done? 100% loaded. I don't think you are. Because you're acting like I'm not. Just going to... Hold on one sec. Just going to wait. Just a minute. Give me a sec, guys. There we go. Rotate it, okay. I can. Leave, zoom, rotate. Oh, zoom! Zoom diary! Oh, yes, exactly! Good job! Diary it is! Diarrhea diary! Got it, okay. Um, is there anything else I can do with this? No? Alright, well then, just leave it. <laughs> I can't read what's in it, apparently. That is not an option. Okay, that door is locked. And that sounded like a cat dying when I clicked it earlier. Which is a lovely sound. Everything's locked. Everything's locked. I thought I saw something. Something was like, touch it. That's, that's a good thing to touch. Something over here. Well, yeah, that's locked. I figured as much. And all these doors over here are locked. This must be the only one that's open. How in the heck is there a baby? Oh, I don't like this now. How is there a baby in here? This place has been abandoned. They're baby crime. January 10th. After countless fights, I'm finally freed from him. I don't even know how he even lasted five years. To celebrate this, I got rid of everything that had to do with him. But I couldn't get rid of that photo. I guess I do have some good memories with him. But he's still a jerk. <laughs> he left me knowing that I'm 17 weeks pregnant. Does he not care about the baby? I'm stressed out. What am I supposed to do with this baby? Should I consider an abortion? There's just too much going on right now. I don't know what to do. My life has been stressful ever since that jerk left the house. It's all his fault. Page 1 of 16. 1 of 16? Well, I should find more of the... I thought there was somebody in that chair. <laughs> Hello? 
I heard you had a baby problem. I'm a baby exorcist. March 5th. I'm finally back home. I was at the hospital yesterday because the baby is finally born. I wasn't expecting Vern to be coming out this early. Mom seemed worried again when she brought me to the hospital. She just went back home to get my clothes. But I can't help to but think about my once bloated stomach now looking like a dried plum. The baby is sleeping right now. He looks healthy and he's indescribably cute. Mom said that the ear and the nose of the babies are like mine. He looks more like me than Steven. He doesn't have that look that made me pissed off every time I looked. Also, I need to decide on what to name him. I was thinking of a few names with Mom, but we haven't decided on what to name him yet. I know I'm overthinking it, but names are important. I want to take time. Spencer, Ezra, Kobe, John, Jose, Eric. Well, I'll tell you the one I love. I like Ezra. Go for Ezra. It's a good name for a baby. Give it Ezra name. Whole bunch of soup and stuff. What kind of soup? The, the tomato kind. Got it. What's it say on the back? Full serving of vegetables. No MSG added. Well, I want MSG. Give me my MSG. Uh, naturally fat free. I like the fact that they got all these details on these things that you really don't need details on. Anything in here I should be concerned about? No, I don't want to leave it. Give it back. <laughs> Pamp. Oh, the knockoff brought thing of Pampers. Pamp. Number one choice of hospitals. Uh, okay. Gentle for tiny tummies. Oh, milk-based powder. Cutie pie. <laughs> Gentle for... Yeah, this, I already read that. It just says the same thing. And so does this, I bet. More Pamp. You got it. Pamp and Pamp. Another note. Today was a special day. It's the day that I finally became a piano teacher. The mother's name is Teresa and the daughter's Alice. I was a bit worried at first if Alice was shy or if she simply disliked my teaching style, but as I broke some of the ice between us and told her, she began to smile a little. Alice seems like a lovely girl. She learns very quick, and I'm happy to see her enjoy her first day. I'm glad Alice is my first student. When I was her age, I couldn't be tutored without Mom also being in the same room. I can't wait to teach her next week. Okay, well, um, what am I doing here? <laughs> what is my objective? Am I learning stuff? Just learning stuff about the people. Oh, that chicken looks good. That looks, that doesn't even look moldy. Like, and the, the lettuce, like, has some bad spots, but it's not as bad as I thought it might be. So somebody's clearly been here recently. Secretly, it's me, I'm along. I'm the one who lived here. And I'm exploring it like it's my first time here. Oh, look, another note. March 11th. Why? Everything was going great. Life was supposed to get better from here. My life's been better thanks to you, and I needed to thank you. I still haven't told you how much I appreciate you. You still haven't seen your grandson grow up, Mom. You just told me a few days ago about living longer for Ezra. Oh, you did call him Ezra. Look at that naming stuff. It's like the game knew. You never told me about your lung problems. You've helped me a lot, Mom, and I wanted to help you too. I wanted to give you everything back to you. Why did you leave me without giving me the chance to repay for all the things you've given? Why? Well, Mom died. So Mom is dead. Grandma's dead. Mom, Mom, we don't know about you just yet. We know we know we heard baby crying. And we're trying to figure out what that was all about. Oh, look at all this stuff. Another note. March 12th, I want to see a psychiatrist today, and she told me that I was depressed. We had several hours to talk about being positive and going outside and being social. But I don't have anyone to talk to. Everyone I had connections with are not around me anymore. Ezra is the only one that's still with me. These pills, they don't work. Taking them won't bring him back, Mom. Nothing will be the same. How am I supposed to be happy like this? I would say those who can remain positive in a situation like this is the one with mental issues. Okay, well, very depressed and sad and stuff. Value Mart for tomato soup and tuna. Buy one, get one. Oh, boy, what a steal. I just <laughs> keep on disappeared. Okay. Can I interact with that? No? Anything? Anything else? $20 for 45 minutes. Learn how to play by ear. Lead sheets. Blah, blah. 
Music. Evie's piano lessons. Okay. So this is Evie. Got it. We're looking at stuff for Evie. Okay. And uh, baby wipes. The world's purest baby wipe. Chemical free. <laughs> Mostly water with some fruit extract in there. Because you want your baby's bottom to be slightly sticky after you're done. That's why you put the fruit in there. January 28th. Oh, <laughs> changed its day. It's been more than a week and none of the employers gave me a response. What am I going to do? I don't think I can make it with the amount of money I have left. I need to find a way to make money, but I don't think the money will last. Should I ask mom for help? She always helped me when I was in trouble. I'll ask her tomorrow. Hopefully she can help me. Well, she obviously did, seeing as you were just talking about how much she helped you. So, mom's awesome. Oh, a binky. A pacifier binky. God, did I just pick that up and take it? Is that a thing I can do now? I can just take that stuff? Okay, I guess I will. Anything over here? Any other? Oh, there's a note. Another newt. January 29th. They gave Mom a call and told her everything. She sounded really worried. She told me to come back home. She said she wants to see my face again. I miss Mom. I wonder how she looks like right now. I also miss the house. I haven't been there for five years. I wonder if the room looks the same. I also miss Lucky. I wonder how he's doing. I want to give him a walk like the good old days. I wonder if he remembers me. I can't wait to see him. All these memories, it's so nostalgic. I can't wait to go back home. Yay for a home, I guess. Depending on who you are as a person, that's a good thing or a bad thing. That is a weird painting on the wall. Interact with thing. February, me? <laughs> Fifth, I guess? Today was the day I was waiting for, back to my good old house. One of the first things we did was to figure out what I can do to earn money. Mom suggested to look for jobs I can do at home, and the first thing that came to my mind was to teach piano. I have a degree in teaching piano, and there is a piano in this house. Oh, look at that. Mom and I started by making flyers we can post on places to advertise. We also need a license for teaching private lessons, so I need to go get one. Hopefully I can start the lessons and get some customers by the time the baby is born. After that was done, we talked about what happened in the five years we weren't in contact. Mom told me that Lucky died a year ago because of old age. I was shocked Lucky died. I knew that he was really old, but it's not easy to let go. I wish I was there to say goodbye to him. He used to follow me around everywhere I go. He was my best friend. Probably should have kept in contact in those five years if you really were worried about Lucky and all that. What's the weird paintings on the wall? Who puts those things on their wall? I'll put a big old weird mask on my wall along with a giant bird. That'll make people feel comfortable when they come and visit me. Happy animals. As opposed to the unhappy animals. <laughs> February 18th. I finally got a call from someone. She called to have me teach her daughter to play piano. I'm thinking of accepting this offer and this offer only for now. Considering my current situation is too tough to teach more than one person at a time. Though I do think I need to accept more students as soon as I give birth. I really need to thank mom for all the things she's done for me. Not just now, but also for everything up until now. I guess that's what it means to be a mother. To love and support your child. I aspire to become a mother that makes her child feel the same way. Oh, well, that's lovely. <clears throat> a whole bunch of books. Book of cats! The internet would love it. The book of the alphabet? <laughs> I don't know. I can't read the type... Type in new fluid world. Okay, something to do with typing. I couldn't read that word. D do you really know that? Yes, I do. <laughs> I don't know how to say it, obviously, because I'm messing up all the time. But I do know that. Oh, flip over. Piano lesson book by Evie. Well, of course it is. Anything? Oh, the puppers. The poopers. The lovely, no, oh, so cute, love it, little Frenchy dog. What did I just light this or something? Am I attempting? I swear to God, I heard footsteps and I wasn't even moving. I was like fixing to freak out. Who's there? Somebody in here? Cause I'm in here. I'm being nosy and all that stuff. I don't need anybody else being nosy with me. I'm fine being nosy all by myself. What is with this? The way this place is. Like the way you walk in and everything. It's just weird looking. A toy. Okay. Can I put on a new dress? I'd love it. 
New dress just around. I'm just gonna step on this bed so I can get to this drawer. January 15th. This is just too much for me. Mom is the only person I can rely on. It was awkward to call her, but this time I had to. I thought she would be mad at me, but instead she cared for me. She reminisced about how she raised me and what she went through in some of the early chapters of my childhood and warmed my heart. She even went on to say that she can take care of my child. It's embarrassing, but I started crying in the middle of the phone call. I just couldn't hold back my tears after all the encouragement she gave me. I can't believe how loving she is. I didn't talk to her for five years, and the first thing I do is ask for help about this terrible situation. If I was her, I'd be filled with disappointment. I want to become like her. I'm going to become a mother. I'm going to find a job while taking care of the baby. I'm going to give the baby the same love my mom gave me. Okay. Whoa, thank you, glitchy stuff. Appreciate that. More notes? More notes! <laughs> It's a boy! The doctor told me that I can expect the baby in 20 weeks. I told him about it. I told mom about it, and she was excited to become a grandma. Like, I told the baby about the fact that it was a boy. Everything has been great ever since I broke up. All the worries I had a couple of days ago is, in the, yeah, is a thing in the past now. The only thing I need to worry now is to get a job. About now is to get a job. Okay. A, a necklace. How lovely. Yeah, I just put that one right back. This is more clothing. Just a whole bunch of clothes. All right, you got it. In a picture of Evie, I'm assuming. Who's this? Ah, the guy that she was like, Blurg about. Got it. Well, no more Blurg. Only Babas and babies and stuff. I don't have a code. You need a key. Well, that would be lovely, wouldn't it? I didn't see a key in any of the areas I was at. And I, I can't seem to interact with this outside of picking it up. So I'm assuming those are the pages I was looking at were the ones that were scattered all over the place. This is a weird area. I don't like the way... This area looks. I just don't like it. It's way too dark. All right, well, maybe I'll wander back outside for a bit. All right, let's try that. Oh, is that not an option? Is, is going back out not an option? No. <laughs> it is uh, clearly not an option. Well, I got to go find the code then in order to get into the baby's room. That's the only thing I can do. Okay. Well, I've obviously missed something. Well, shucks. What have I missed? Can I move pillows and stuff? Can I can I do that? Oh, look. A camera. Can I No, can't do anything with this. Got to just All right. Well, that was pointless. Oh, look, another note. There we go. January 16th. Now that I think about it, who needs that guy to help me me raise my child? I can do it all by myself. I already applied for five jobs. I just have to wait till I get accepted. I also have some savings, so I'm okay with money. I'm also going to see the doctor tomorrow. Hopefully the baby's healthy. I can't wait. Okay, so this is a clue. The red letter isn't just some weird thing. It's a clue. This is page three. And the, the number that's red is six. So that means that I need to go back to that other note with the red number on it. None of these other ones have it. So far, as I can tell, the other ones I've looked at haven't had it. Ooh, that, that, those graphics are lovely. Just love it. Nothing else in here. This note, no red. Okay. There's no other note in there. Nothing down there. Did this note have a note? Okay, no red note in there. So I'm close that door up. Where was the other red? Oh, there's something in here. Oh, a sleep aid for nighttime sleepy time stuff. Okay. Well, that was pointless. <laughs> Noodle coupons. Yes, exactly. I need those in my life right now. 
Any notes in here that I missed by any chance? No, nothing in the. What about the microwave? Nothing in there? <laughs> what do you. Alright, hold on. I'm gonna keep trying to see if I can find those other notes. So hold on, guys. We're... I'll be right back. There it is. So this one was page five, and the number is eight. Okay, so six, eight. All right, I'm gonna go check the other notes real quick just to see if maybe there was another red letter, red number, sorry, that I missed. So hold on one second. Oh, I found a hidden note. If I can interact with it, I would. Are you gonna let me interact? <laughs> ah, that's one with a number on it. So that works too. So let me just, that's page 15. And the number is five. I heard they separate the child if they recognize the parent with the problems. I've already lost enough. Stephen left me. Lucky died. Mom died. And now they're trying to take Ezra away from me. Stop taking everything away from me. What did I do to deserve this? I don't know, lady. I don't, I don't know what you did to deserve any of this. Maybe nothing. Maybe life just stinks. That's how life tends to be sometimes. Big old smiley pile, smelly pile of anger and grr and unluckiness. Is there anything in this blanket? No? Okay. Alright, be right back. Oh, there's one. March 6. I decided to name the baby Ezra. Ezra means helper in Hebrew, and I wanted to name him that because I feel like he has helped me mature. While I was pregnant, I had many problems, but I feel like Ezra has been supporting me through it all and allowed me to become a mother. He also became the catalyst to call mom and bring peace to our relationship. He has helped me a lot, and I wanted Ezra to continue helping others as he grows up. I think this is the perfect name for him, and I hope he will grow up and live up to his name. I told him his name and the reason behind it. She really likes the name. Oh, I told mom his name. Like He's not even born yet. She also gave me her necklace as a gift to congratulate me. She told me to take care of the necklace and I can pass it on to the next generation. Because that's what a boy wants. But that's perfectly okay. Because, you know, love and all that stuff. So I'm in the piano room. That's where I found that. All right, got to keep... Oh, there's another one. Look at that. Oh, there's the other number. Page nine. Number is nine. I've contacted the mother who wanted me to teach her daughter and accepted her offer. The lesson is going to start from the 22nd. I need to leave a good impression on my first student. My family depends on this. I knew this was coming, but darn, I'm getting nervous. I need to start preparing. All right. Well, I think... I think we found enough of the notes with the red... with the red numbers in order to get into where we need to go. So let's go try that. Let's go try it. Let's go see. All right, so the first number should be, if this is an order by page, uh, can I can I hit the, can I scroll the, can I, can I do the numbers? Can, can I, hold on a second, guys. I got to look at control. Oh. Oh. oh, okay. That was dumb. That's dumb. You gotta actually, like, pull your mouse to the left. I'm an idiot. Then I can just click on it. I didn't know I had to do this. Ugh. Can't, can't. Will you let me move you? No? Why not? Why aren't you letting me? Is it because... Is there something missing here? Like, am I supposed to have more of this lock? No, the whole lock is there. Why is it glitching out like that? Literally shows a... What in the... What in the... <laughs> I just suddenly looked up and realized there's all this stuff up there. How did I not know that? Okay, whatever. Um, can I please get in this room? Purdy... See, look at that. It just... Now it's all glitchy. Don't do that. Jesus. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I have to get to the, the lock a specific way in order for it to work. All right. There we go. Into the room we go. Oh, this doesn't look... 
Ooh, this doesn't look nice at all. A whole bunch of sleep aid, eh? You didn't, uh, kind of tired, were you? Oh, I was a little sleepy. You took your shoes off, at least. That was nice of you. February 18th. Ezra, it's okay. We'll be together forever. We're just going to go see your grandma. We can finally all be together. Page 16 of 16. Oh. No. You didn't kill your baby, did you? Oh, no. Oh, thank you, game, for doing that. I, I didn't know what to do. I ran for the exit. I just knew I shouldn't be here. When I got out, I dialed 911 and waited for what seemed like hours. I led them to the building. But when we got there, the building, it wasn't there. Of course it wasn't. Oh no. Oh, I don't like that at all. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Well, that was a quick and short game. And, uh, oh, I'll tell you right now, if that happened in real life, I would pee myself. Find a building with that stuff in it and then go call 911. And then it's gone. Yeah. Nightmare inducing. For me, at least. Anyway. Oh, thank you, orchestra. That was Evie. Very short, very sweet. I got this on sale, so if you're looking at it and going, oh, I'd get that for somebody else to play, but then you look at the price and you're like, ah, I wouldn't pay that much. Wait, it does go on sale on occasion. Um, but I think it was, I think it was good for what it was. It was very short. You really just had to read the story out. But I, I like the reveal that she was honestly just losing it and just so depressed in a random chinchilla <laughs> but I, I I do like that about that so a very sad ending too and then creepy because it doesn't exist you crazy person thank you for playing anyway thank you guys so much for joining me um, I hope you guys have a wonderful night and I'll check you guys later bye